Hello there, my name is Francis Ramos. I am a petroleum engineering student at Texas Tech University and welcome to the refinement process, a small little show on this channel where I try to break down complex petroleum engineering uh, terminology and to describe for your benefits. So today's topic is porosity and permeability. Before being able to understand all of the processes and terminology and machinery and drilling, production, facilities, you really need to have an understanding of what does a reservoir look like and what, and what is a reservoir. Well, you see, oil and gas aren't located in some sort of like deep ancient caverns 10,000 feet below the surface just sitting there. In reality, it's located in these microscopic spaces in between uh, rocks called pores. And porosity, because of pores, means the the volume of the volume of space in the rock that has the ability to hold fluids, and the rock's ability to flow a fluid through those poor spaces is called permeability. Think of it like this. Now imagine, well, I have a box, not box, a bottle, of, a little jar of, plastic jar of pork grinds over here, of chicharron. Now, uh, this is actually a pretty good representation of a real world. Now imagine all of these different pieces of chicharron is a grain of a rock, right? Now, as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from the bright lighting of this video, but all of these are different sizes. What does that mean? What does that mean for a rock's porosity and permeability? Well, if all the sizes are different, that means less space, which means less porosity. And because of that, because of there is less space, that means there's less space to flow flu fluid through, which means less permeability. In a perfect world, now imagine where all of this is the uh, is the same size, meaning the gaps are bigger in between them, which means porosity is bigger because of more space, of more volume. Now that means there's more permeability through the rock and that's a very good reservoir rock. As engineers, we really care about the, uh, the interconnected pore space. You might hear that referred to as effective porosity um, and whatnot. Grain size is not the only factor that really affects uh, the porosity permeability relationship. Let me move that out of frame. Um, what about the kind of rock? What kind of rock is it? Is it, um, is it a sandstone or is it a shale? Is it what kind of fluid? Is it a single phase? Is it a purely a liquid or a gas? Or is it two phases where it's liquid and gas? What What's the total depth? Like where, what depth are we drilling at? Is it, what kind of pressure is at that level? You see, all of these different factors in porosity permeability are things that you begin to think about as you continue your journey on as a petroleum engineer. And the more you learn, the more you read and think about uh, oil and gas, the more you, the more you begin to treat these factors and think of them as instinct versus like a table or a chart. I hope that helped you out. Um, if you, if uh, this helped you out, please let me know in the comments down below so I'll continue making more. Um, if you have some questions about porosity and permeability, uh, ask me down in the comments down below. I'll try to help as much as I can. Um, I'm still a student in the process, so I'm still trying to learn. However, I hope that both you and I can uh, learn together. So until um, I'll see you in a few days and until next time, peace. Wow.